Hi, it's Nate and Lorraine here. <laughs> um, Lorraine Purcell, Women's Empowerment Coach, and Nate Nelson, blurbsurfer.com. Post your videos there. If you want to learn more about my work, go to LorrainePurcell.com or ThreeKeysToSelfLove.com. So, welcome to another episode of Walk Your Talk. And what are we going to talk about today, Nate? Well, Lorraine told me she wants to talk about a subject. You got to give him Katie. Term, ter, term <laughs> of bros Wait. before hoes. All right. We gotta, we gotta but we her. wanted. We both agreed that bros before hoes is kind of a not a really good way of saying it. So we're we're gonna discuss why is it that men put men before their woman relationships? And she wants to talk about how she wants women to come together and instead of putting their man first before themselves, to maybe start more of a sisterhood, kind of like mm -hmm. men do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that the women get each other's backs. And I kind of disagreed with that at first, but we're going to talk about that. This is this is our first topic today, so go I'm ahead. Chew it up. And I'm not because at first Nate didn't like it because he's like, oh, it's like you know the sexes against each other, and that's not what I'm talking about. It's just like I want a world, a community where women have each other's backs, and they don't throw women. They don't like, oh, you're pretty, so I'm not going to look at you or I hate you and just like ooh, all that creepy energy is like no let's let's be a sisterhood let's be a sisterhood I think a lot of it is we are you know dealing with this old DNA thing about needing to uh, get the man so that we can procreate it's like this old genetic DNA thing that does not we don't need it anymore and so when you find yourself just dissing a woman for whatever reason, I'm talking to you ladies, question it and go, why? What if it, what would it be like if we had each other's backs? Because I know men do that. I mean, you were telling me, Nate, about being in the Navy, how that's always been, you know, with your roommates, your male roommates, how, you know, you guys are like a brotherhood. And I, I know that men have been like that. And it's just like, wow. I envy it and that's the community that I want to develop for women or that I have for women actually but I just wanted to talk that out tell me what it's like to be a bro and what we can learn for that from that as, as women hmm I think that uh, I, I'm, I'm just trying to wrap my head around it a little bit I think that it's it's the animal kingdom and because we're humans we're animals so it's like the lions you know there's this competition everybody wants to finish strong everybody wants to find that beautiful husband that beautiful wife that has everything to offer the total package but I think what Lorraine's trying to say is like we need to um, rise above that way of thinking and say you know what it's yeah. still okay to be competitive it's still okay to seek the quality of type person that you want or the qualities in a person that you want to marry or, or spend your time with but we also need to re going realize that um, <laughs> we don't need to always be in competition we don't always need to be putting people down to make our, ourselves feel better because in actuality it's kind of immature and you actually feel worse after putting someone down. I told my roommate the other day, I was like, he actually mentioned because he says, I'm learning a lot from you, Nate. I've learned so much from you. I was like, like what? What did you learn from me? He of goes, of course you would learn so much from me because you're so awesome. Thank you. Thank you. But I told him because he was angry a lot. You know, he had a lot of bad things happen in his life and he's resentful and he lashes out at other people. Even if they just do little things to him during the day, he just gets really angry about it. I was like, you need to stop being so angry about things. It's like you can't change other people. You can change yourself and, and you can't change anybody else. So focus on being the best you you can be. Try not to become angry because you don't know what's going on in other people's lives. You don't know what they've been through. You don't know what they've heard today. Maybe someone passed away in their in their life and they're really upset. And just because they did one little thing, now you're really angry. So he and he realized. He goes, "You're right, Nate." He goes, "It takes more energy to be mad than it does to be happy." It does. And that's why I think it's more important to work on being a better you. Like I try to be a better me. 
and instead of being in competition with people, try to support other people because when you're friendly with other people and you try to support them, you compliment them, you uh, encourage them, you tell them that they did a good job, you know what, those people start to like you and they start to actually love you. Like Nate's always complimenting me, that's why he's my friend, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, but not really, too. I mean, you're very, very, you know, uplifting. And that's one of the things we have in common, so we love uplifting people. But, so tell me about how bros hang together and what we can learn as women uh, for I don't know. how to do that. What do you guys do? Like, like, you were talking about the Navy, how, you know, everyone's got each other's backs and... Um, I don't, I don't know that I have any internal secret about it, but Not I, because you're I, so close to it, you don't even. But it, maybe, know. but what I would say is that, you know, I have friends in my life that they always feel like they have to have a woman in their life. It's like I gotta have a woman in my life, and so they're always spending time in the pursuit of a woman, or getting ready to go pursue the woman, or being with the woman instead of balancing their life with quality time with their man friends or their their male friends and I encourage that women do the same thing it's like spend quality time by yourself spend quality time with other women and be supportive of each other and do things and talk to each other and more importantly listen to each other and be supportive to really enhance who you are becoming so that you can get that that big great big life that Lorraine talks about you know, because your happiness is not derived from other people. It's derived from your internal self being balanced first. And then you can go out and share that happiness and that love with other people. And it just becomes an awesome thing. And I think the military, what happens is that the, us men have a lot of downtime with no women around. So we end up <laughs> spending time talking and doing things together and hanging out by default. It's not something that we chose to do. Oh. If we did choose to serve the military but we end up spending a lot of time together. Same thing with police officers, fighter fighters, and industries like that. You end up spending a lot of time together talking about our relationships, our kids, issues that we're having, financial situations. You guys talk about that? Yeah. Huh. I don't think that men talk about it enough because I think that there's this huge macho thing. It's not macho or it's not manly to talk about problems. You know, I had a friend recently said he he went to his bedroom and just cried. He said, I cried like a oh, little woman, you that's know? Good. And I was like, that's great. I said, there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. You feel so much better afterwards. And he agreed. But I think a lot of men would never, ever admit to the fact that they just went and cried yeah. in their room, you know? It takes a big And person. so I think it's important the sooner you start to mm. dial into the real you yes. and talk about there your you. real issues, address your real issues, share your real issues, because we're all having struggles male female we're all having struggles and god puts people in our lives and gives us he opens doors closes doors um and if you don't want to believe in god you can say nature the universe will open up doors mm -hmm. close doors don't get mad about it just be like hey you know what there's a reason for this what is the reason if i can't figure it out i'm going to ask my friend you know this happened to me i feel like the door's closing my life what do you think and your friend will be like uh, <laughs> I support you, whatever's going on with your life. I'm here to listen to you. Good idea to that part. So you're basically saying, well, one of the things I want to add is, you know, like let's say as women, we can get, we can feel threatened if there's another beautiful woman or if there's like the most beautiful woman in a place. And I just want to invite you to just take yourself to task with that and go, why do I feel threatened? It's not about competing for the guy. This is an old paradigm. I don't need to play. And that woman is beautiful. And I'll even go up to them and tell them, you look so beautiful. Because I just want to blow that thing apart. I don't want, I don't want to participate or have, it have, any, have any control over me. But just watch what goes on inside of you. And then that insecurity is for us to deal with. And this beautiful woman just showed us where insecurity is so that we can heal. I'm clarifying that us means we as individuals, not Lorraine and Nate to deal with. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Right. Or yes, yes. Keep pushing to the right because if bikers come oh, by, okay. we don't want to hog okay, up okay. the street. So did I make that clear? Just you know, when we feel that insecurity, go. Okay, what what is it inside of me? And you know, I remember there was a, a point in my late 20s, I think, when I just said, okay, I'm secure in being insecure. That's, that's really important. I'm insecure. We all <laughs> I'm, are. And I'm secure in it. We all have our insecurities. I'm, I'll tell you right now, my I have insecurities. And you know, who cares? Because it's just all about appreciating who we are anyway. So I just wanted to get at that primal mm -hmm. tendency, especially that I've noticed for women. And why I've I've envied that men have bros before hoes. And I'm not saying women are hoes. Excuse me, it's just a saying. It's just a saying. Slang saying. Slang saying. And that's what it's what men say all the time though. Not so, all men. <laughs> oh no, you do. I think they do. I think they do. Well, no, maybe not all. But just, you know, can we have that sisterhood like men have that brotherhood? I think like my friend this week, he was we were talking about being mad and being upset and all the energy that it takes is is like realizing in life is like there's always gonna be someone better looking, male, female, yeah. there's always gonna be someone better at this, better than that. But don't focus on that. And then like he was like, I spent he realized I, I realized so much time I spent is making other people happy that I don't even put time into myself anymore yeah. and I'm so unhappy. And I said Dude, it's it's crazy. It's it's so important. I said it's great that you acknowledge that and you see that because that's the first step. Now that you've acknowledged it, what are we gonna do about it? And I, I suggest and highly recommend balancing your life. It's okay to do for others, but it's also just important, more important to do for yourself, so that you can do what's right for others and you're doing it for the right reason and you have balance. And then knowing on that note that you will never ever make everybody happy and that there will always be someone better at something or better looking or whatever, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It causes insecurities, but those insecurities are basically irrelevant because you're, you're better at something than someone else isn't good at. We're, we all have our strengths and our weaknesses, but it's okay to have those because it's just human nature. It's, it's, it's the universe. It's <laughs> the way it is. All right. <laughs> so like a magnet like, pulling me towards you. <laughs> like Lorraine says, she's really pushing for you ladies out there, you women out there. We're together. Don't don't work against each other. Support each other. If you have problems, try to find solutions to those problems uh, through your friends, through family, through someone you can confide in. And that's really important sometimes. Um, it's very important to confide in someone you trust, someone who's not going to go blab it to all the other ladies. Hence, a good reason for a coach or a counselor, because that will not go anywhere. And talking to friends only goes so far, because maybe they don't want to have your back. And sometimes it's really good to talk to someone like Lorraine, who's very knowledgeable and has a lot of experience on coaching and helping people out, because she didn't. Because <laughs> it's like, it's a total stranger, and you might feel more comfortable talking to her because she doesn't know anything other than what you told her or She's are telling strange. her. She is, she is <laughs> beautifully strange sometimes. But uh, I think it's very important to have a coach and it's definitely important to have people that are supportive around you because if you don't, like we said in the other video, you become like the five people you spend most of your time with. So spend your time with good people. Good people. And just, if you can't find five good people, maybe you need to just limit yourself to one good person. If you can't find one good person, be by yourself for a while yes. until you can find that one good person because otherwise that one bad person is going to bring you down. They're going to steer you in the wrong direction. One of my clients, her father was from South America and he had this saying that I just love and I've used ever since I heard it. It's better to be alone than to be with bad company. And if you just, if you just spend time being alone with yourself and your books that, that edify you and uplift you and maybe uh, an online community that you that aren't gossiping or backbiting, but are uplifting and taking you to the next level in your life, that counts for the five people, right? So if there isn't anybody around in your community or where they're not criticizing other people or gossiping or dissing people, I don't have anybody like that in my life. I haven't for- She doesn't know me very well. The longest time.
Oh, I know you. You would not be here next to me if you were like that. So I hope that helps. Um, just the sisterhood. I want to. I want to invite women into this world of walking up to a beautiful woman goes, "You look so beautiful," and just letting. You know, it's like crucifying that ego where we go, oh, I'm so insecure. Just acknowledge inside yourself that this woman is so beautiful and, and not being threatened by it. Mm -hmm. And how can you stand by your sister instead of like throwing her under the bus? Yeah. On, on that note, boyfriends, girlfriends, married couples, it's okay to appreciate beauty. I mean, I don't understand why mm. a couple can see the sunset and like, wow, that's the most beautiful sunset in the world. <laughs> but then when the husband is like, man, that lady, she looks great. You know, and the wife's like, yeah. why are you looking at that lady? Yeah. It's like, you know what? There's a lot of insecurity. There's a lot of people that are in unhealthy relationships that have a lot of unresolved issues. But I encourage you to be okay with saying, hey, you know what? I appreciate beauty, whether it's a person, the way they look, a sunset, a nice car, a nice mm -hmm. truck, motorcycle, a painting. It's okay to appreciate beauty. Now, is there a good way to say it, a better way to say it than a worse way to say it? Of course. But those are things we can all work on. And I've said it before in the other video, it's like practice makes perfect. We need to practice these new things in our life. We need to practice being around good people. We need to practice not gossiping. We gotta practice not saying bad things about people. We have to practice saying good things about people. Yeah. You'll get better at it. And it, it's awesome. A lot of people like being around me and I'm not tooting my horn. I'm just saying one of the reasons is is because I show an interest in other people. I take the time to listen to other people and, and know what's going on in their life and try to be there for them in a positive way. It's, it's a way of listening. You can hear people, but it's better to listen to people. Actually listen to what they're saying because if you can't repeat back to what they were just saying, then you were just hearing. You weren't... You weren't actually listening, so <laughs> practice makes perfect. That's what I'm going to end with. Okay, uh, Nate and Lorraine signing off. If you want to learn more about Nate Nelson, go to blurbsurfer.com. If you want to know more about my work, go to lorrainepurcell.com or threekeystoselflove.com. Let's do a spin. Okay. Show them our... <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you. Bye.